Hi, we're going to demonstrate you now our new scanner SFM250. This scanner replaces our small scanner 200, uh, SFM200. Uh, this one is with field of view area of 200 by 250 millimeters. It is uh, suitable for measurement of profiles from aluminium, PVC and rubber. For this demonstration, we're going to use a standard aluminium profile. It is uh, cut at 90 degrees angle, it needs to lay flat on the scanner, and it has a height of up to 80 millimeters. This is the maximum height that can be uh, measured for, with this scanner. Okay, so it doesn't matter where we put uh, the profile on the scanner, we close the lid and we proceed to the measurement. Okay. So here we are pressing uh, the yellow button. This is one button measurement. It will prompt us which template uh, to use to upload from the measurement data center for this uh, profile ID and it will start the measurement. The templates we have already prepared before we start the measurement and it's prepared once for each, uh, for each profile ID. It uh, includes uh, all the uh, dimensions that needs to be controlled and uh, the tolerances for for that profile um, on the scanner we can also put several uh, pieces of the profile or from different profiles and they will be measured with one scan and uh, results will be um, reports will be generated for each profile so the measurement usually takes about 30 seconds uh, what the system does is it uh, makes an image of the section of the profile and then it compares it to the nominal drawing. Uh, here you can see these are the results, the gr they are color coded, the green results mean that is intolerance, this dimension is intolerance, uh, the yellow one is on the border and the red ones mean they are out of tolerance. Here you can see we have the full set of dimensions and geometric tolerances. Even after we have already calculated uh, the results, uh, there's no problem to add another dimension and check what, what would be the result there. Here my colleague is adding the tolerances for this dimension for the wall thickness. Okay, so this dimension is out of tolerance. On uh, here we can also add the option to see a visual inspection of the deviation of the entire profile. The deviations are represented with whiskers. They help to visually uh, see where the problem areas of the profile are and we can exaggerate those whiskers. Okay. The comparator up, it simulates the work of a contour projector. We are using at the moment a touchscreen monitor and uh, you can see that we can manually adjust the nominal over the image. This is for operators that are used to working with contour projectors and with use this option of software okay so all the measurement results performed with the scanner are stored in a measurement data center um, you can see here the template and the results are represented in a graphic this is the result from just two measurements performed here is the last measurement that we did okay you can uh, generate a report and send the PDF to customers or management. Again, you have the evaluation with goal or no goal in the table. And we can also uh, filter the, we can do filters in the measurement center so you can generate different types of reports. This is for the last few measurements or from a certain date, which operator performed the measurement and what tool has been used, another scanner, 
maybe. Okay, you can generate different types of reports from the measurement data set. Okay, uh, thank you very much. That's it.